What's up everybody? Negative Zero here. Today I'm coming to you with a very short and helpful tutorial. How to install Minecraft Shaders 1.5.2 Beta from Keronix onto your Minecraft 1.5.2 jar. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is open your Minecraft. Options. Force Update. Done. Login. And it'll update your Minecraft. Give it a moment to retrieve the jar and the supporting graphics libraries. And it'll come up to the Mojang screen and wait till it's finished, then close it out. If you close it out beforehand, there's a good chance that it won't actually save the downloaded problems. I don't know if everybody has this problem or if it's just myself. But it likes to delete the updated files it just downloaded if you close it before this, so just give it a second. Okay, now the first thing now you want to do is you're going to I'm going to show you two ways to do this. Press Windows key R, and you can type percentage, app data, all one word, percentage, 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 backslash, dot Minecraft, and click OK. And it'll take you straight to the folder. The other way you can do this is to click on computer, click on local disk C, users, your name, app data, roaming, and Minecraft. The original way. So much faster. Okay, now that you have this, you're going to go into bind, right click your Minecraft.jar, oh, try again, open with WinRAR Archiver. Close that, not close it, minimize it, get it out of the way. Close this, or minimize it. Now, you're going to open your web browser. I'm using Chrome for this, you can use any browser. And there's going to be three links in the description of this video. Now, these will take you to the three main downloads for this mod. You're going to need Optifine, the latest version, 1.5.2 HD Delta 3. GSGL Shaders mod modified by Keronix. It's on page 100. It's the first one on the page. It's by him. It's a quote from him. And it's right here. Now, once you've got that downloaded, we're going to rudoplays.com, clicking on Shaders and downloading the Rudo Play shader and that'll be what it provides our visual effects there's other ones you can get them from Chocopic you can get them from the original sh awesome shaders which were uh, by uh, Sonic Ether and one second that's good water and uh, now that you have that open up Minecraft jar and hold it over here you're going to want to open up your Optifine now go ahead and click on Meta Inf and Minecraft and hit delete. Click yes and it'll delete that. You don't want that there. It won't let the jar load if it's modded and that's still there. Okay, select all this. You can press Control A on your Optifine and get and unselect that. Drag one second. I actually selected all that. Drag this over here. Click OK. Now close this. You can delete this. Now click on Shaders Mod and open it. Select it all except for the top part and drag it over here. Click OK. Now close that. You can delete that. Now, the third time, you can close this. Go back to your Minecraft folder and go back to the actual dot Minecraft. And if you don't have this folder yet, which you probably want, because it creates it once you install the mod, once you run the mod for the first time, you're going to click on Shader Pack. You're going to create a folder called Shader Packs. Double click it and drag the Rudo Play Shader in as a zip file. Do not extract it. Just leave it alone. Now go ahead and run your Minecraft again. And with a little luck, it'll load right up. Okay, I'll give it just. There it is. Uh, probably get it Perhaps did when it come up. Uh, that's fine. Uh, now we'll just test it out. We should have click on options. You should have a shaders folder now. And it should you should select Rudo plays. Click done. Click done. Now let's go into. Let's make this so I can see it. Let's go to single player. And pick a world. I'll click my showcase world I guess and 
And there we have it. Set the time. Aw, really? Aw, really? Open the land, creative, allow on. There we go. Okay, there we go. Now we can actually see. And, uh, yeah, that's it. That's the extent of this tutorial. It doesn't, it's not that complicated. It's very fun to do. And, uh, yeah. Uh, enjoy, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one. This is Zero, signing off.